got we got a lot of people. Yeah, we So album out today. Dang, I'm excited. This is my first time doing like Q and A. So, uh, well, I'm telling y'all what I'm doing. But basically, remember those questions that I asked all the team Breezy to ask and me to answer the questions for. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So we're gonna do like a quick a quick little Q and A. Figure it out. See what see what's going on. So we'll start off with like the first question and do it like that. Y'all don't mind about smoke. So what I'm in my house. <laughs> so how do you feel about the response the album has got so far? Um, for me personally, I feel uh, I feel good. I feel more excited. I'm I'm more nervous about this album. I'm always nervous every time the album come out. But I feel excited about this album because basically the time that went into it, the production, the, the work, and just like I like making y'all happy. So, however that. That is however I gotta do it, whether on stage, whether on the, in the studio, in the house, however. And I'm just I'm just more excited about people hearing it. So, as a creative <laughs> force in entertainment, what stories do you want to tell? As a creative force in entertainment, what stories do I want to tell? Um, I think for the most part, a lot of my stories are told throughout my visions, as far as videos, as far as like, you know what I'm saying. Uh, my, my my actual ability to be on stage, my my uh, creativity, me being able to like think about like certain songs. As soon as I go in the studio and think about a song, like I automatically think about a video, or think about like, the concept. So I think, you know, what I'm saying as an artist, I think my 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 go-to is definitely like what I'm able to create or, or you know come up from scratch, come up with it from scratch. Do you have a favorite color and why? Do I have a favorite color and why? I used to have a favorite color. I think as I got older, like I started like looking at auras, you know, chakras and different things. So what it made me end up doing is kind of having a bigger appreciation for all the colors, like every color. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Everyone has its own like uh, primary like kind of force and behind every, every color has its has his, his own like lane to be to, to like shine and be bright. So I like I, it's a difficult question. I know it sounds loaded. It sounds like a fortune cookie answer, but I like all of I like all colors. It said that indigos <coughs> are vibrating at a much higher frequency. So what's the exact background for the title indigo for your new album? Oh, the title for indigo. Well, I know a lot of people just think it's probably the colors and stuff, but if you look it up, you Google it right now. Indigo children, like indigo children, is like. It's basically about energy. It's about it's about us being more one with ourselves, like our, our oneness. And, uh, our ADHD is in our well, my ADHD is in my downfall. <laughs> it's it's actually my superpower. So, do you plan on coming on tour overseas anytime soon? Tour overseas. I know a lot of my overseas fans pissed off. I know Brazil. I got shout out. Brazil got shout out. Like. <coughs> you're like you know what I'm saying it's, it's, been, it's been crazy I know mean, we haven't been in Japan in a while Australia um, Canada for so, sure I mean a lot of the places we definitely trying to set up this tool to make sure like everybody else can get the whole experience I know a lot of the time we do the section we're going on tour and then we'll wait three four months and then go overseas or we'll, we'll wait a whole year sometimes but we're coming overseas this time I appreciate y'all, and, and, I, and I thank y'all for being patient. So you've added businessman to your repertoire. What other ventures do you see yourself pursuing in the future? Oh, uh, ventures in the future? I just want to, I just want to do music as well as I can. And anything else that's, that's uh, okay for me, I'm winning. I'm dancing. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just, I'm here. I'm able to create and I'm just thankful to be here, so... Anything in the future is, is whatever you guys allow me to do. But you know what I'm saying? Whatever you guys uh, like that, I, that I'm doing. So, yeah. What do you think is the biggest challenge you face? The biggest challenge for me? <coughs> um, the biggest challenge for me, that's a good ass question. Um, I think the biggest challenge for me would be, uh, damn, 
everything is a challenge. I think <laughs> I think being able to like figure out something meaningful to say or something that people can relate to is like is what I focus on the most. I, I try to focus on doing stuff that's relatable or doing music that's not just um, from a selfish standpoint or, or just from a, a selfish outlook. Like I don't want to have it from a one-sided thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know everything. So when I work and, and, and I do certain songs, sometimes I might hear a perspective that I didn't I didn't look at, you know, a, a different view that I might not have looked at it, at it like that. So, you know what I'm saying? I think that's what, what, what it is for the most part. <laughs> What is the planning process like for creating your choreography and your shows? Uh, planning pr- uh, process, I would say me and uh, my homeboy Josh, right? So Josh, I know you probably, a lot of my fans probably know Josh, you know Jake, you know everybody on the team. But I think the, the, the prep and time and the, and the stuff that we do for the tours and rehearsals and shows, <clears throat> Man, it goes it goes from like a two month period. So we would do rehearsals for maybe like I would say a month and a half, then all the stuff on the stage and when we bring to the stage for like a month. And then throughout that time, it'll take us all in all about two and a half months to kinda like right before the tour starts to prep. So we already been prepping and getting everything done for this new tour that we're working on. So and the tickets is available. Whoever bought the two tickets get actually one CD, so thank you guys for buying that. So Make sure y'all come to the show too. Being a dad, what added responsibilities do you have as a man? Oh, dang. Oh, they, Team Bridge is coming with the questions. Um, being a dad, what added responsibilities do I have as a man? Uh, I don't think there is is no added, you know, responsibility. I think being a father, that's like, that's a good responsibility to me. I feel like um, if you're able to, 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 to make a child, like I feel like, uh, the responsibility and the, and the job is, that is with the job is, you know <laughs> is looking for it so I think I think for me it's no added responsibility I just think it's a responsibility that we're already kind of like privy to it's more, like, more of a privilege I think being a dad is, is a uh, is fun I still try to catch myself and stop being a little kid but you know what I'm saying <laughs> so it's but it's fun I, I don't feel like it's a uh, I don't feel like it's an actual added responsibility for me, it's, it's more of a, it's just, it's just what it is. You're either, you're either a dad or you're not. So. <laughs> Do you have any plans to get back into acting in movies or television? On um, movies, television, acting, I definitely want to get back into the TV bridge. I know y'all want to see me on like, the, the big screen and different things. I, uh, I've been working like real, you know I'm really quiet and low key, but I've been working on a lot of film and television and stuff you know, behind the scenes, so it's not as, uh, I didn't want to, you know, be out there like, look, check out this, this come, and then it don't come out, so, so I wanted to make sure everything I'm doing is right, so we got some, we got a lot of film and television and stuff, so. What sparked your interest in learning more about spirituality and enlightenment? Um, what sparked my interest about spirituality and enlightenment? I mean, I, felt, I figured that, I'm not saying I was bored, I just figured my mind wanted to learn more. I figured, I figured like, spirituality is something that we all kind of feel, we all kind of have, but it doesn't have to be a fine print. It don't have to be a, a, a book you read or, 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 or something that, that people force you to go and, and learn about, like, you know, you find it on your own and once one certain thing, like, attract you, whether it be astronomy, whether it be, you know, just knowing, just knowing you, like if you're a historian or whatever you want to be, like <clears throat> I feel like for me, it's, it's easier, it's easier to connect with whatever, whatever your spiritual side, because there's no, it's no boundaries, there's no, it's no guideline, there's no rule book. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can find yourself, or you can be looking for yourself your whole life. But I think with this album, and shit, I'm 30 now, y'all, yeah, so. With this album, is more like what's inside instead of instead of like what's on the surface. You know? How does it make you feel to be one of the youngest artists to own all of your master recordings? Wow, uh, for me, how I feel owning my masters, I kind of like it. Feels it's it's dope. It's new. I like I'm young to be able to do it, but. 
I'm also just mindful and very careful because not without, without going into crazy detail, I'm just more mindful because I'm a young black man and you know, I didn't had I didn't have hiccups in my past. So with this accomplishment I think that the things that I'm doing now with my music and you know, just where I'm at mentally when it when it comes to what type of songs I wanna put out or what what I, what I want people to recognize these four certain songs. I just feel like it's it's more cohesive now. It, it kinda makes more sense. It, it's like and it's and it's not it's what I'm here to do. It's like, I'm not I'm not here to to, to make the headlines. I'm here to make the, the good headlines, the music headlines. So How do you stay positive? Good fucking question. Uh <laughs> Um, how do I stay positive? Man, you gotta stay, stay positive. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us, if you ever been through shit, you know that you're going. Most of the time, people stay up or, or during their day, day that they don't have, or during their week, they don't have four days that they're completely happy. You know what I'm saying? So I think I focused on the things that I do have and focus on the fans that I have and also just what makes me happy music, man. I think music in itself. Single-handedly, can I can say has saved my life multiple times. Um, but you know, also too, I got a cheat code because I got my daughter, so I can look at her and then um, like every all the problems ain't as bad anymore. You know, so that's 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 cheating, though. That's not that's not fair. <laughs> what is your method in painting and creating your canvas art, and who are some of your biggest artistic inspirations? Um. A lot of my, my core fans know who my artistic uh, inspirations are. I think what I would say to people who, who like like my art and kind of act like, man, how do you do it? Trial and error. And man, it's trial and error. You go and paint, you can go get a, 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 a canvas or a piece of paper, and it can be totally shit to you. You can be just doing whatever, and it, just, and it doesn't come out. But somebody else can see it, and their perception of whatever you made is totally different. It works like that with music. It's works like that with, with anything, with your colors, with your favorite colors, <laughs> same shit, so it's just like, <clears throat> when I'm able to paint, I kind of like, I don't I don't worry about what painting I'm doing or who who I learn from, like to do certain techniques, I just try to do the best painting I can, and then if it ain't dope to me, then fuck it, it ain't dope, I'll just go back and, and, and try to paint over it or redo it, it's no, it's no set stone, nothing is mandatory, so I think when I paint, the freedom behind that is why, I think why painters excel, why people excel at certain things because there's a freedom behind it. It's not, it's not a, you're not strapped down to a desk and forced, you know what I'm saying, to learn a certain thing. You learn as you go. I think that's that's why I gravitate to a lot of different things. The last question, do you have a message for your fans? Yeah, message to my fans. Obviously, if you go get the album, I know y'all listening to it, keep streaming it. Um, but the one part of the message that I would have is just to say I wouldn't even have a message like a PSA I would just have a thank you but I would just say thank you guys continuously because I don't have I don't have a, a I don't go I don't go to, to the what is it the generic shit I don't, I don't, I don't I'm not going to do that it's not cliche I don't try to do stuff that's cliche and a lot of the times I withdraw from from being exposed to going to interviews and saying certain things because they're not giving my fans, or they're not gonna give y'all a Q&A, you know what I'm saying? They're not gonna give you something that's directly for y'all, and, and y'all feel like it, I'm talking to y'all. It's always something that I'm kind of trying to dig myself out of the hole from. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? The message to my fans is thank you guys for all these fucking years that y'all support. And, you know what I'm saying, rocking to my music, man. I ain't an old man yet, but when I start feeling it, I'll let y'all know. This is my first time on live. Um, album out. I set this shit up like it was a press conference. <laughs> but I just want to thank y'all, man. I love y'all. Um, play the album. Give me y'all feedback. Y'all can y'all can at me and all that stuff. Tell me what songs y'all favorite. What songs y'all want videos to? And uh, we got that game tomorrow. H ten. It's gonna be crazy. You know we can win though, right? I'm just letting you say. I'm just I'm letting him. You know. Do this thing, but we can bust that ass tomorrow. Alright, so I just want to tell y'all thank you. I love y'all. This is my first live. 
So hopefully it ain't my last. I know y'all be like, keep walking on there that long. Fuck that. I was on here long enough. <laughs> I love y'all. Thank you so much for all y'all support. Indigo Out Mouth. Hey, man, all the people posting it, all the videos y'all doing, I see all that shit is me posting y'all when I repost. So don't think it's like a, a hub or a, a label. I'm getting back to my video games, man. I love y'all.